Star Wars Day, everyone. May the fourth be with you. <laughs> um, I'm wearing this Star Wars t-shirt. It says, I'd be solo without you. And I'm wearing my star necklace just to match with the theme of the day. And I just wanted to start this vlog, you know, show you what I'm doing as usual. And then I also wanted to discuss um the Miami Grand Prix or at least what we know about it so far so one of the things that most probably all of you have already seen or heard about is basically they put down fake water like around the track <laughs> and I don't know what you guys think but in my opinion I don't know, it looks terrible. I mean, it, it's like a very terrible imitation of Monaco, and I don't think it works. But uh, this shouldn't disturb how the weekend goes for the drivers, so I'm very excited to see, and I'm happy to share this with you guys. So let's head into the weekend. Well, good morning everybody. Uh, I unfortunately couldn't watch the qualifying yesterday because I was working and then we, were, we went to a festival and I'm just now walking home. Yeah, it's uh, currently almost 10 a.m. So uh, yeah, I feel amazing. <laughs> But I feel like the qualifying wasn't that unexpected. We had a Ferrari 1-2 and then Red Bull 3-4 and then Bottas B5, which is uh, very nice because once again he out-qualified Lewis Hamilton, who is starting from P6. <sighs> Sorry about the dog. That's the perks of walking on the streets. There's the lake, I don't know if you can see. It. Anyways, I'm just uh, walking so that my mom can pick me up. Yeah, besides uh, this, I don't know much about qualifying. I will have to catch up on everything that happened. And I hope that I can watch the race because I'm working tonight too. So it uh, will be very interesting. But I know that Lando finished P8 which is a pretty good finish, I would say, and uh, gives McLaren, you know, a chance for great points this weekend. And then, of course, lastly, it wouldn't be my video if I wasn't talking about Guan Yu Zhou, the rookie of the season. I think he finished P17. Not his best, but uh, let's see what the race brings tonight.
Uh, good morning, guys. It's the day after the Miami Grand Prix, and I'm just getting ready to go out and meet a friend. But I just wanted to stop for a moment and process yesterday's race. Yeah, so I don't know about you guys, but this race, this track, definitely not my favorite. Um, there's a few sections of the track that I really like. They look great or, you know, they are great for overtaking, but they were definitely not as good as some other tracks that I really like. So I found yesterday's race maybe a little bit boring to watch, not so much to race, of course. I think the guys enjoyed it, so I think that's also what matters. Yeah, but let's talk about the results. So the winner was Max, uh, congrats to him, it was a very nice race, very clean racing from him. He didn't have much of a challenge, but uh, he, he raced amazing, as he always does. And then we had Ferrari in P2 and P3. I think Ferrari aren't that happy with the results, but um, maybe next time they can get the win. And then in P4 we had Checo. So it was Red Bull and Ferrari in the top four. And then, uh, I wouldn't say necessarily a surprise, but it was a pleasant surprise to see Mercedes in P5 and P6. I think they are still not happy with these results, but it's definitely better than how they have been performing in previous races and they got some good points for the team. So congrats to them in a way. Um, besides that, other teams, I wouldn't say anybody was much better or much worse than we would have expected. Maybe Haas, they had a good start to the race and then it didn't turn out quite so well and I was not so happy to see that because, I don't know, I have grown to like the team. But a big disappointment was definitely McLaren. I mean, Daniel got P11, which is no points, but I would say slowly but surely he will be getting points too, <laughs> so I would say that's a great improvement. But Lando, seeing his crash with Pierre, it wasn't, wasn't too pleasant as a huge Lando fan, but um, hopefully next time he's not gonna have any accidents. And then, of course, before I finish this little section of me talking about uh, the first ever Miami Grand Prix, I have to mention Guanyu Zhou. Sadly, his streak of finishing races and having quite good races ended <laughs> because he DNF'd in the first few laps. So I was very sad to see that, but it happens to the best. Yeah, so overall, I wouldn't say it was a bad race, definitely wasn't the best, but I am excited to see maybe what changes they make for the upcoming years in organizing the whole weekend, or maybe to the track for the rules or anything. But yeah, I, I would say that, you know, I'm excited about the future. Well, good morning again. I know that I pretty much dragged this <laughs> vlog out for a few days because it's already Tuesday, <laughs> but I didn't really have much time to film because I was working, so there isn't much content in this video, to be honest. 
but I will definitely try to film more of my work and you know what I do and all of those things because summer is coming and after I will be done with my university exams I will definitely be going out more and doing more interesting stuff besides Formula One of course so I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.